Sweetens, it's been nice to have a week without a midweek game. Matt was saying, though, it's benefited the squad in different ways. How has it been for you personally to have that that extra few days rest? Yeah, um, it's it's been nice to get an extra day off um, this week. Um, we've had a busy um, four or five, five weeks um, with Saturday, Tuesday games and a bit of travelling in there. So, um I think uh, I think we deserved that extra day off, especially with the points returned that, that we that we've we've got over the last four weeks. So, yeah, it's been nice. Um, I feel well rested and, and uh, I feel um, feel ready to, to fly into the weekend. And you're all right, I presume, because Matt said you you'd knocked yourself in training a little bit. Yeah, uh, it was a strange one. We were just training on Tuesday, and, and I felt a little bit of a. A little bit of a niggle in, in my hip, um, but um, I've done a little bit today in training, and I'll train tomorrow, and, and, and I'm sure I'll be fine for Saturday. So um, I think it's my old age now. I'm, I'm, I'm nearly 28, so I think my hips are my hips are giving way. Basically, a veteran now, aren't you? Probably yeah, better. Yeah. Otherwise, this is pointless. Um, <laughs> like I said, it's been a good good few weeks. It's been a good month for the squad. I guess it's all about just momentum now, taking that into what is is a, a big final six weeks of the season. Yeah, um, we've we've had um, some games. We've had a weakened squad, and our our, our squad and our our fringe players as such have have stepped in really well. Um, and listen, there's just been a, there's been a few players that have come out of, come out of the dark as such and. And came in and, and, and stepped up and, and stepped up really well and and they'll they, they they've kept their place over the last couple of weeks so um it, it, that kind of just sums up the kind of vibe and, and the positive um that's running through the running through the club and running running from the fans as such so um yeah listen we're we're in a really really good form at the minute and we're looking to take that into the last last eight games like you said Callum Rose come in from a lone spell and impressed. Just like Czech did, we didn't know what to expect from Sam Stubbs and he's come in and been superb. I think there is just that vibe around the club at the moment that when someone's given a chance in the squad, they just seem to grab it with their hands. Yeah, um, and that, that's that's what needs to be done because we've got we've got a lot of good players in our squad. Um, I think uh, Callum um, kept Tim on the bench on the weekend. Um, Tim was fit enough to start the game, I think, but he, Callum kept his place and he done really well again with, with a man matched man a man matched performance. Um, it's the same with Czech uh, since January when he came in. You think he played ten games on the trot and, and he done really well. So that's 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 what needs to be done. That's what that's what our squad is all about. And when there's an opportunity there to be taken, I think our, our players have taken that and it's going to show them where we are in the league table. On to the task at hand, obviously Newport. I imagine these are the games as a player you relish because it's very different to playing a side that are perhaps mid-table have nothing to play for. When you're playing a, a promotion rival as such, it, it gives you that extra impetus. Yeah, um, these you play football to, to play in big games of football. Um, nobody nobody wants to be playing a nothing game where you're playing against two, mid, two mid-team two mid tables or playing against each other and you can't get relegated, can't get promoted. So, this is this is the reason why we play football to to to, to play in these games and we'll take a big crowd we'll, up there. There'll be a big crowd in the stadium and listen, it it it's, it is a game of football. So there's three points at stake, but it it'll cement our place in the in the top three even more with a win and it'll give them a bit of a bit of hope to try and catch us if they win as well. So we're going to go there uh, confident as we should be because we're in we're in really really good form and and. We'll see. We'll see where a good a good performance takes us. And certainly, when I was speaking to Matt earlier, we spoke about how Newport, just like ourselves, have made an investment in the pitch. Obviously, that's their home pitch that they, they are comfortable with. But it should benefit our style of play because it's very different to sort of the mud bath we experienced last season. Yeah, I think if 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 you watch the highlights of the game last year, there it's 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 a million miles away from. From what it is now, um, I think last year it was brown. This year it's actually green, so it's a bit similar to ours. To be fair, um, I know Chaz, I know Chaz wasn't happy with a couple of remarks I made about the pitch last year, but um, yeah, it, it's similar to us. They, they've invested heavily in their pitch, and it's probably because they've changed the style of play as well. Um, they're a football and based team, and we're, we should go there expecting a, a, a nice, quick game of football on a decent surface, and 
that's how we we like to play as well. So it'll be um, the best team comes out on top, and and I'm hoping it'll be us. Anything you'd like to say to Chaz to set the record for this season? I think I think I think I've apologised to him before in an interview, and um, I don't think I'm going to apologise to him again because I think uh, he knows that I was wrong to say that, and I think I know I was wrong to say that. So let's just leave it there. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's leave it there, sweets. Uh, <laughs> um, like you said, you're an old man now, so you better get off to bed. Yeah, I've got to go to bed. Um, I've got a kid, so I need an afternoon nap.